Today we are going to talk about the squeeze test. The squeeze test assesses the integrity of the inferior tibiofibular syndesmosis, which is made up of the anterior and posterior inferior tibiofibular ligaments. By compressing the calf more proximally using a fulcrum mechanic, motion is produced at the distal tibiofibular joint, causing a separation of the distal tibia and fibula. Indications for the squeeze test include history that supports a mechanism of injury to the area, such as an ankle sprain, contact injury, palpable tenderness over the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments, palpable tenderness between the distal tibia and fibula, swelling proximal to the ankle joints at or above the anterior tibiofibular ligaments. Please note that if the syndesmosis injury does not have swelling, make sure to palpate. Be sure to rule out the following before performing the squeeze test. Injuries such as fractures to the tibia or fibula, compartmental syndrome, contusions, abrasions, and cellulitis. The squeeze test is highly specific with a specificity of 88% to rule in a syndesmosis injury. However, it has a low sensitivity of 26%. This means that it is not a strong predictor for ruling out a syndesmosis injury. Inter-rater reliability is moderate with a CAPA coefficient of 0.461. The squeeze test is performed as follows. The patient lies prone with their knee bent. Note that this can also be performed in sitting or supine. The therapist then places their hand on the upper to middle third of the leg, about 6 to 8 inches below the knee. The therapist then squeezes the patient's leg. Make sure to squeeze the tibia and fibula instead of the calf muscle. Therapist inquires about potential symptom reproduction. The following explain the outcomes of the test. A positive test is if there are a reproduction of symptoms and excessive distal tibiofibular joint play. Therefore, the joint may be compromised. The test is considered negative if there is no reproduction of symptoms. Additional tests to perform in order to rule in a syndesmosis injury include the external rotation stress test, the cotton test, fibular translation, dorsiflexion range of motion, and anterior drawer test. In the following videos, we will explain the squeeze test and then perform the squeeze test on a patient. Here we have the tibia and the fibula, and with the squeeze test, we put pressure on the proximal aspect of the tibia and the fibula, which puts a um, separation force at the distal aspect of the tibia and fibula, and stresses the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments. Hi, Kasha. My name is Greg Murphy. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Let me just wash my hands real quick. Um, how are you doing? Good. So I hear you're having some symptoms with your ankle? Okay, so we're going to be doing a test known as the squeeze test. And what we're going to be doing with that is squeezing at the upper part of your leg and seeing if it reproduces your symptoms. But before we start, I'm going to palpate and just to make sure that we have pain in the area where it's happening. Okay? So, is there pain? So we're going to move towards doing the test now. Um, I'm going to have you lay on your belly. And so now I'm going to bring your ankle up, and I'm going to be squeezing at the, um, up towards your knee, and I want you to let me know if, you, if it reproduces your symptoms, okay? And was there any reprodu reproduction of your symptoms? Yes, it hurt. Okay. And that is a fi positive finding for the squeeze test. 